Good evening, viewers. Welcome to another very special edition of the State of Affairs of flagship program, uh, political program. Sitting in for my friend Ali Sise uh, as uh, the host of the program. With me in the studio, I have my very good friend, Mr. Suleiman Dabo. Suleiman, welcome to State of Affairs. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be here, Sidi. Thanks so much, Suleiman, and nice to have you. Uh, with me in the studio is Honorable Almami Tal, spokesperson for the United Democratic Party, UDP. Uh, Mr. Tal, welcome to State of Affairs. Thank you very much, Sidi. Happy New Year. I'm happy to be here in the New Year. Very thank well. you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, my brother Almami. And I wish you the same Happy New Year to you and your family and to your party. Uh, Mr. Dabo, we've seen recently UDP and all many other political parties have just concluded uh, their Congress. Um, you had yours in uh, Janjambure. Um, quickly, can you tell us what is the takeaway from that Congress that you had in Janjambure? Uh, it was a very successful Congress. Um, we had uh, more than a thousand delegates from uh, the whole uh, length and breadth of the Gambia. Mm. Uh, we had a very significant uh, resolution mm -hmm. that um, the Biennial Congress, which is a constitutional requirement of our party, uh, should now become uh, a non-elective Congress. Mm -hmm. Meaning, um, once you are elected into the executive of the UDP, now you have a, a four-year term instead of uh, every two years. But we will continue to have uh, biennial, biennial congresses to adopt uh, resolutions, to effect uh, constitutional changes. Um, we also felt that um, congresses or all these internal democratic processes uh, should now really uh, consider uh, other options apart from just the voting and the fight for uh, principal positions that have uh, characterized uh, the, the growth of our party. We are 25, 27 years old this year. Uh, we felt um, in, uh, instead of uh, competition, why not try and get more consensus in terms of all the positions uh, within the party? Uh, we've tried uh, primaries, we've tried other processes. We've come to the conclusion that if we can get a consensus uh, uh, candidate for positions, uh, inevitably it is, uh, it is a better way of uh, encouraging uh, party unity and uh, cohesion uh, going into the future. So that resolution was uh, very important to, to, the, to the Congress and uh, we were grateful that um, the people of Janjambure and all the Congress delegates uh, bought into the idea. The second uh, resolution is about party discipline, message discipline. These are things that um, we've noticed, especially after the uh, 2021 elections or during the 2021 elections, that a lot of uh, individuals uh, would be had on media or on platforms making audios and they would be uh, ascribed or attributed to the United Democratic Party. So to ensure that there is better party discipline, there is uh, better uh, party messaging, uh, we are setting up uh, a committee to look at uh, uh, disciplinary measures of, of, of uh, members of the party, officials of the party how they conduct themselves, and uh, these are resolutions that we feel uh, will help the party not only grow more united, but uh, will get on the work of uh, electing and putting in place of uh, representation people with the right kind of temperament, with the right kind of qualities. And uh, overall, it was, uh, it was a good uh, get-together. It was a family reunion of sorts. Uh, Janjambure is a historic town. I think this year or next year it would be 100 years old, the establishment of mm -hmm. uh, Amitage, uh, high, uh, Amitage uh, boarding school, the one and only boarding school in the history of the Gambia. So it was a, it was a good time. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I mean, you talked about a consensus instead of elected uh, representative in those, in those positions. Um, would that not defeat the, 
the, the real issue when it comes to party party democracy, internal party democracy? I, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, if you have a consensus candidate, it means that the person is unopposed. Yeah, but I don't think that's best practice. It is best practice uh, in internal affairs mm -hmm. because if you, are, if you are together uh, and uh, CD today says that I want to be the leader and uh, maybe 10 or 12 other people say that, well, I also want to be the leader because you remember when we were coming into the election of 2021, all of a sudden we have so many parties, mm -hmm. uh, we have so many individuals vying for positions mm -hmm. uh, of the presidency. In the end, some of them allied with uh, uh, the more established parties and some went uh, with, the, with the president. And uh, at the end of the day, we ha I think we had only two additional uh, players, if you like, uh, Mr. Jami and Mr. Fall, mm -hmm. were the other candidate. So what a consensus candidate uh, does is that uh, you have a crop of leaders. Uh, amongst them, uh, they understand uh, that um, maybe if we go, a faction of the party would either feel disgruntled or would uh, break away. Because it's a, it's a genuine so, uh, it's a genuine threat to. So uh, since political party has to be mirrored, as you know, we always say opposition parties are government within. Yes, and you are a mirror of what we envisage as a country, as yes. a society. Yes, if you guys have to go into that mm -hmm. form of thing, mm -hmm. some actually speculate there were forms of either inducement or intimidation for others to withdraw their interest in you know, running against uh, Mr. Tal, for example? No, no, that, there was none of that. Uh, the fact of the matter is that in a, in a democratic organization, uh, you have to have choice. Mm. And sometimes the price of that choice is some compromise. And the compromise we think is best is to have a consensus person for the position. It's not only one position. By the way, the legal secretary position, you have to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So I, I really didn't have uh, much competition. My colleague uh, on, the, on the legal team, uh, uh, Honorable Boris Sise, Boris Ture. Are you very happy to hear that? It's all mommy. No, I mean, I mean uh, my, my brother, my body bunker brother, Boris Ture, uh, we, are, we have been the team uh, for, for the last uh, 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 two congresses uh, before. Um, uh, has been unfailingly mm -hmm. uh, gracious and he really was not interested in uh, even changing of position, even where, where that is. Uh, this is just specific to the uh, yes. legal, legal sector. But for the rest of the positions, again, we have a, a very diverse team. For any of our positions, uh, like you say, uh, as a government in waiting, we have, uh, thank God for that, we have a lot of qualified people. And uh, first and foremost, this is a voluntary undertaking. People give their time and their treasure to, yeah. to the service of the party. I guess my friend wants to come, but quickly, uh, Suleiman, yeah. just forgive me. Um, your Congress was a public Congress, and you know people had the opportunity to see it either on, online or we have seen video clips and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I am baffled because we saw at one instant where the party leader, mm -hmm. Honorable Hussein Dabo, had mm -hmm. to come and make word of caution Yes. And talk about respect. Yes. And talk about, if I can quote, yeah. So, for me, mm -hmm. there was something brewing up for that to happen. Yes. What actually was that? What was happening was that uh, people were expressing their interest yes. in positions and they are supporting uh, certain individuals in positions. Yes. Now, well, like I was saying earlier, Whenever you have that kind of uh, competition, mm -hmm. it can lead to tension. It can lead to the raising of voices. So in place of all of that, I think getting a consensus candidate, however that is negotiated within the party, uh, should be a welcome innovation in our party politics. Because I don't subscribe to this idea that politics is a zero-sum game. Mm -hmm. If uh, CD wins today, Suleiman has lost. Within the same party, that cannot be an ethos, that cannot be a way of approaching. And I think even at a national level, we must be able to pull together and find common ground, find a consensus 
uh, uh, candidate based on respect. I think that is all Usainu Dabo was talking about, <coughs> that uh, we have to uh, disagree without being disagreeable or noisy or all of those things that are human, uh, part of the human uh, makeup. So this is, this is, the, this is the approach uh, UDP hopes uh, in 2023 and beyond. Uh, we would be able to bring that kind of uh, inclusive uh, leadership, inclusive uh, uh, politics and progressive politics that is not just following old dogmas or oh, you have to do it this way otherwise you will be labeled as undemocratic or anti-democratic mm -hmm. or or things like that those right. kind of labels really we we we, we think we we need to put them aside i think uh um, suleiman you have to come here yes i let, let, me, let me jump in um quickly um i to some extent will agree with the fact that sometimes it is necessary to build consensus because otherwise it will only bring chaos. I'll give you the, I'm sure you're following in the Congress, um, the United States Congress, <laughs> an, an election of speaker took them four to five days. Yes. Um, Inter-party fighting, that's what brought about yeah. that. So sometimes consensus building is good. But I want to see the discussion a little bit mm -hmm. to something um, which is of national importance, mm -hmm. and that is the state burial, burial of late solo sanding. Um, I, get, I want to get your personal view and the view of the party as far as this is concerned. Uh, thank you very much and I, I, I should have started probably with that that um, it's a very somber time. It's a reminder of uh, where we've been and uh, I think uh, there is a growing if, if not a national amnesia but uh, a forgetfulness that uh, you cannot uh, justify or rationalize. Mm -hmm. I personally felt that um, this should have been given more uh, visibility, particularly by the government. Mm -hmm. um, UDP... Uh, you mean beyond according him a state funeral? No, 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 no not beyond. I mean, you cannot accord uh, any honor mm -hmm. to Solo Sandeng now that would mean anything uh, for, for him personally. Right. Uh, what it should have been, it should have been a moment of national unity, mm -hmm. uh, bringing all the political parties, all the victims, mm -hmm. uh, together on a kind of a national uh, prayer, national uh, mourning. Uh, you may think it is a gesture, you may think it is a, 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 a political statement, but what is necessary uh, at this stage mm -hmm. of our transition to a more democratic society is to honor the memory of, of uh, Solo Sandeng, Deda Haidara, and all the people who were fell by uh, Yaya Jami. Mm -hmm. And you don't do that just by having a state funeral. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, there must be a conversation on reconciliation. Why is the reconciliation agenda moving so slowly and based on uh, what is it called uh, legalistic uh, imperatives mm -hmm. um, uh, for the party this is a very solemn day like I was saying uh, but most importantly this is for the family of Solo Sande Correct. Uh, most importantly it is for all Gambians mm -hmm. who want to live in a peaceful uh, nation mm -hmm. uh, we are not going to uh, make any claims on, on Solo's uh, legacy uh, because that legacy has already been concretized in history. Right. And uh, we have been informed. I personally have been invited by one of the sons of Solo, mm -hmm. and I would be there, inshallah, to, to pay respect to, to a Gambian uh, matter. Right. And I think, um, uh, like I was saying, it should get more national uh, visibility, and uh, Gambians uh, um, uh, uh, praying and asking uh, them to uh, remember the lives that we are given so that we have this uh, democracy, democracy yes. that we have. And uh, we cannot be having this discussion amongst the three of us here without the likes of Solo Sunday, um, who, like you were saying, um, put in their lives for us to have this discussion. I've lived here um, when there was dictatorship here. I was working for a television station when there was dictatorship here. We were censored in every form, shape, 
So I, I can understand that. But that is why I think um, you raise the issue of having a national dialogue. I cannot understand on a platform like this to have you, a member of NPP or a member of another political party, to sit around the table and talk ideologically about national issues. I don't know why we can't do that. Would you agree it is time for us to do that so we continue to respect the legacy of people like Solo Sande? No, oh, entirely. I agree entirely because, I mean, we have a national broadcaster where you used to work. I mean, look at their programming. Look at the direction that they are going. I mean, a national television is supposed to be an educational, informative uh, outlet, uh, whether it's the BBC or CNN, which is not a national uh, uh, TV, but globally, even their programming, you know, uh, when uh, political events, political parties are having activities, uh, the national uh, broadcaster uh, doesn't uh, even bother to, to mm -hmm. be present uh, after several, several inv invitations. But your point is the, is the issue, and I, I think when I was answering some of the questions of Sidi, mm -hmm. is that this is our only country we have. We have to be able to live in an inclusive way. Correct. We cannot uh, accept that politics is a zero-sum game. Uh, because I have a different political affiliation, it does not make me any less Gambian. Correct. Uh, because you have a different political affiliation, it does not make you any better Gambian mm -hmm. than any other Gambian. Right. Those who do not have ideas or projects are the ones getting into this... Uh, uh, smallness. Mm -hmm. They are the ones getting into this uh, slicing and dicing of the Gambian uh, uh, future. <coughs> I mean, just just to just to add to that, last month, Echoes, after five years of his death, came to the realization that perhaps the greatest West African statesman of the 20th century mm -hmm. is Sadao Kairo Wajawa. Yeah. And that's a reason for it, a big reason for of it. Of course, yes. Of course. That's a reason but, but, for it. But his mausoleum is still under construction. Yeah. So this, these are some of the things that I think we need to talk about them honestly. Yeah. I, and I, this I think does that's not have any political yeah. uh, party connota connotation yeah. at yeah, all. Absolutely. And, and uh, mentioning late Sadaura Kairabai Jawara, you can disagree with him ideologically on issues, on policy, and everything. Mm -hmm. But one thing you cannot deny him is that he was a peaceful democrat. Absolutely. And so after his, 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 his rule, yeah, Jame came in and we lived under a dictatorship. Now that it is, he is gone, we don't have a dictatorship. I think it befalls on all of us, us as journalists, you as politicians, the government, civil society, everybody should come to the realization that like you said, this is the only country we have. We will have to build it or we will break it. And so it, it is our collective responsibility to realize this, that we can di disagree vehemently on policy, on issues and everything. But at the end of the day, what we want is the fertilization of ideas. So we develop this country. And I think that is a responsibility that we all, all, all will have to take so we can move this country. Thank See you, it. thank you, thank you, Sleman. Do you want to? Add no, no. I there? mean, I, I think this is this is what I what we have been looking for. Mm -hmm. There is a momentum now for progressive politics. Correct. That is why some of us decide to join the political fray. Uh, we did not join so that we have a tag uh, that oh, I am UDP, and if you are not UDP, I'm not going to talk to you. Uh, and I have lived through this last six years mm -hmm. under that cloud that anything I say in the Gambia or on any platform, uh, the, the I dismissive and easy way is that, oh, you know, UDP, they are, they are always so, like this. I yeah. mean, I, I still want to go back to your Congress, but quickly just to um, add on to what you just said. We've seen UDP here in 2017, 2018, 2019, and we've seen Barrow in, in office. I mean, the antagonization that we have seen now, this was not actually here in 2017. It was in here in 2018. It was in here in 2019 when Usain Udawa was at the helm of, uh, as the vice president. And some of you were engaged 
in other things, you know, whether it's a job or it's a government job or it's a parastatal job. So why now mm -hmm. that we have seen, I will call it the nastiest politics that I've ever lived in this country is actually happening now? Why? Well, well uh, the, this, is, uh, this is the fundamental question that we as Gambians should ask ourselves. I mean, we are old enough to remember, like he's saying, what Sadauda was to Gambia. How we went to school and how we intermingled and how everything we did, we did as Gambians, mm -hmm. principally. Correct. The 22 years of dictatorship is still reverberating mm -hmm. in the consciousness and in the psyche, the emotional and social and cultural fabric that Sadauda has lovingly knitted together mm -hmm. was destroyed into a million pieces by Yaya Jame. Mm -hmm. And now we have the same playbook of Yaya Jame, the same laws, the same constitution that enabled dictatorship and this kind of uh, uh, bitter politics mm -hmm. because of one man's uh, vision of how, how do you but, 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 you know, let's get this right. You know, we have different political parties here. You yeah. can name them, handful. But the tension that we see, the nastiness that we see is UDP, NPP, supporters, surrogates of these two parties. That for me, it baffles me. Because it seems as... I'm trying to explain, CD, yes. uh, how we got here. Yes. But, I mean... I okay, you, 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 no, you, you no, can so, go. So, so, yeah. so this, uh, this uh, transitional period mm -hmm. that we have an act for, that we, had, we were supposed to have a new constitution mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. that we had the Jane Commission for, all of these processes are related. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the act of governance in the 21st century is about inclusion, mm -hmm. is about transparency. Correct. Now, if you are appointed uh, to a position, uh, no matter what your uh, experience or your qualification is, you must be faithful to the terms of reference of that position yeah. and try to deliver for the country. Mm -hmm. Now, as long as we do not personalize politics, as long as we do not personalize positions <laughs> of power, yeah. uh, we, will, we will have peace, we will have things uh, going our way. But once you start thinking that uh, this office is mine, but I, I see UDP's hand all over whatever you are complaining today. No. Because okay, you, please, you... Please enlighten I mean, me. Yeah, because... I mean, I, I don't want to keep bringing this. We, like, we are here for the Congress. Yeah, yeah, we are here for the Congress. I don't want to keep... Will, but we, we, need, will, we, need, we need to, you know... We will get, have a no, better no, time. I, I know that there, there are some, some, some of so our see, compatriots yeah. who really want to litigate the past, mm -hmm. especially the past conduct of UDP. Mm -hmm. um, but like you said, we are here for the Congress. Yeah. We are here also for the future. Correct. Yes. Local government elections are coming. about to come. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, so, so for me, the important thing is that we have to understand the past. Mm -hmm. To be we able have to, to make peace yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just to understand that past quickly, yeah. when we sit around now, we talk about, you talk about, and I say what is actually happening now, mm -hmm. the failures that you are pointing at, your hand is all over it. Because How? We, we, we had a transitional program. This yes. was a transitional pact. Anytime you come here, this thing must come up. Yes. And that is to say, your party leader, nobody but Usenu Dabo, who cemented Adam Abaro on a five-year program, who yeah. came out and supported the idea that Adam Abaro has to go for five years. Who, some of your militants, I can name names, who will come out and say Adama is for five years? Adama is our Adama. I don't understand when you come out today, not you, but your party, Adama is not our Adama. Adama is this, Adama is that. And then you have those people who in the uh, NPP side saying this to Useru, saying that to Alimami. For me, I think we are bigger than that as a country. Our country doesn't have to go around just Usenu and Adama, UDP and NPP. It's bigger than each and every of these people. So for me, I'm completely dumbfounded. I, I, I and it's full It no, is full no, Well, well I, I can understand your frustration. But, uh, Sidi, for me, what I have said here, that Usenu Dabo, as a uh, constitutionalist, said that the constitution says that the president is elected for five years. Mm. 
yes, uh, there were so many agreements prior to that uh, statement and prior to that election. Because one of the reasons why uh, President Adamambaro became President Adamambaro, Usainu Dabo was in prison mm -hmm. uh, because uh, Solo Sandeng was killed. Mm -hmm. So, so these things we know them, mm -hmm. and we we must respect that past. Mm -hmm. Now, moving forward, uh, we can still honestly talk about the past as far as Sadaura is concerned, as far as Yajame is concerned. But it is to the future that we must focus. Yeah. What kind of politics do we want for the future? Now, if you want to blame uh, Usainu Dabo for the uh, for the transitional uh, justice agenda. I mean, you are a Gambian. You are free I mean, to do that. I, I, but my, it is, I, I'm, it is I'm, not. It is not the case that the transitional justice agenda is is is, uh, is truncated. Is, uh, is 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 moving very slowly mm -hmm. because of what Usainu Dabo had said four or five years ago. Yeah, I I I, I think you you hit the nail on the arm uh, when you talk about. Gambian people being ready to learn from the past, but actually ready to also move the future. To me, that is significant. But, but because Sulewa, I don't want to interject here. Uh, just to add on to that, you yeah. have the floor. I'm yeah. sorry to do this. No, go when ahead. you say Gambians need to learn, yeah. well, and, and Almami here, lots of people that we see today on this WhatsApp, on all this Facebook, all this, they're kids. That's what I'm saying. That's they don't I, know anything yeah. other than... But it is, it is difficult. It is going to, that's what I'm going to challenge Almami. It's yes. going to be difficult. Uh, this disciplinary committee or resolution that you passed at the Congress, I'm wondering how you are able, you will be able to implement it. Because I can tell you as a journalist who did my own investigation, the 2021 presidential election, a lot of people, and I'm not going to, I don't want us to talk about the results of that election today. Really, I want us to focus on the UDP's Congress. A lot of people were put off by comments, allegations made by, as he was saying, kids that claim to be members of UDP. So my question is, how are you able to use that resolution to be able to control people like that? Because in any party, you will find these kinds of people who are on the fringes and they would they would they would put fire <laughs> in the house mm -hmm. because they have a certain agenda um uh, i don't know what the success rate of such an uh, effort would be mm -hmm. uh, but we have to start by the way I, it's commendable that you have a resolution like that because you have realized that's a problem no, no, we, we, we realize, we understand our problems and our challenges, mm -hmm. but we, we just don't want to characterize them within the context of a political movement. Mm -hmm. we, we see ourselves fundamentally as a government in waiting. Mm -hmm. I think Mr. Sisi Correct. has ma ma mentioned that. Correct. What that requires is that you put in place uh, laws and mechanisms mm -hmm. that would ensure uh, effectiveness, that would discourage impunity, that will promote transparency. Yeah. Because if you do not uh, uh, reimagine re or reconfigure your processes, you will not be successful as an organization. Mm -hmm. We see the Gambia as an incorporation. Gambia is the smallest country on mainland Africa, mm -hmm. but it's not the smallest country in the world. Right. It's bigger than Mauritius, yeah. it's bigger than Singapore. So for me uh, and, and for UDP, we have been thinking about the, the Gambia into the 21st century. What are the things that we need to put in place? And fundamental to this is an agenda for changing <coughs> the architecture of governance. This transitional period, mm -hmm. nobody is now talking about it. Nobody. When are we going to have a new constitution? When are we going to have comprehensive law reform? D nobody is talking about it. If somebody should ask you today, mm. Mr. Tal, what do UDP stand for? Um, in terms of ideology, what would it be? Um, words like ideology are not very fashionable for us. <laughs> we are a progressive movement. But Meaning, you must believe in certain type of governance. Yes. Uh, if you like, uh, we are uh, uh, left of center. Uh, uh, meaning, again, progressive politics. Politics where government has a significant role 
in making sure that there is equality, mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, general opportunity for, for, for the majority of people, and the citizens feel that their resources that they pay in taxes mm -hmm. are utilized for their benefit. So is, is this so, uh, so kind you're, of... So you're more leaning to the, to the leftists, right? Yes. Okay. But, but uh, in the center, really. And how would you describe your main opponent, NPP? I, I don't... This is what I, yeah. what I was hesitant to do. Mm -hmm. I, do, I did not really want to start putting labels and... No, no, I, 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 no, 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 I only... Yeah. The, 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 yeah. yeah. the, the, the thing is, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tal, um, it's true, generally, you would say 90% of voters of this country do not belong, do not support a political, particular political party because of the ideas of that political party. It's mainly on personal <coughs> basis. But I think we need to move from it. Like you were saying, if politics is based on personality, we will destroy this country in a minute. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you very much, ideas, Mr. Mr. Dabo. We we'll, go for, we'll go for a short break, and uh, when we come back, we'll continue. Uh, you tune into QTV, uh, State of Affairs. I'm your host, uh, CDC, say, with my co-host, uh, Suleiman Dabo. We'll go for a short commercial break, and we'll be back shortly. Espace Motors is the largest and most modern auto service in the Gambia. Espace Motors is the only authorized dealer in Chevy. Mercedes-Benz trucks, Mercedes-Benz buses, Kia, Ford, Futon Mini and Midi buses, Futon trucks. At Espas Motors, we have qualified professionals who use modern technology to diagnose and repair all brands of motor vehicles. Espas Motors services include auto sales, auto repairs, vehicle painting, availability of high quality spare parts, towing services. We are reachable at any time. Call Espas Motors on 352222-353-4444 or locate us on the Bertel Harding Highway. Espas Motors. Welcome back uh, after that short commercial break. With me in the studio is uh, Honorable Almami uh, Tal, the spokesperson of uh, United Democratic Party with my co-host, Mr. Suleiman Dabo. Uh, Mr. Dabo, do you want to uh, allow uh, Mr. Tal to respond before we push? Yes. You, you think you actually a respond or... Well, I Suleiman is throwing out a lot of ideas out yeah, right it now. Was, it was a kind of an exchange. Yeah, yeah. because yes. I, I believe that uh, we need I to see move away from personality. I see your false no, reaction, Suleiman. I want, I, mean, I, mean, I want our political parties to be talking <coughs> about ideas, so we take yeah. personality So let, let, let's out. focus on the Congress. Let's go back on the Congress, Mr. Tal, because we are not, uh, we're going to talk about the Congress and then move through this forthcoming uh, local government election and other things uh, surrounding the United Democratic Party. Finally, on the, uh, as far as the Congress is concerned, we have seen you come with a resolution Instead of having an elected representative or elected, you know, individual in office every two years, you made it four years. Yeah. I mean, critics are saying you are just trying to ring fence Usenu Dabo and some of you guys to hold on to that office. Why? Um, we think that um, all elective offices here is minimum uh, four years or uh, minimum five years. All elective offices in government. Mm. Um, we think uh, it's, uh, it was a great cost to the party to mobilize more than a thousand delegates uh, wherever it is happening to house, uh, fed, transport them. Uh, that is money that we can uh, put back into the party's own uh, organic uh, development. Mm -hmm. So there is, again, like I said, uh, everybody in the executive uh, and working for the party do so on a voluntary basis, except for administra regional administrative offices in our bureaus. Those people are on salary, are paid by uh, party party funds. So, so there is no desire to ring fence. Because I think uh, if you do not innovate organizationally, uh, you are not going to uh, so, make the so future. So you, but you still gonna have uh, Congress yes. every every two yeah. years. Yes. So what is it different? What is it different? Yes. Holding the election. Yes. During those congresses yes. and then to wait for four years to elect. People. Yes. Uh, the difference mainly would be the numbers. This time around, instead of a thousand, uh, we may end up having two hundred delegates from all over the and country. And that would reduce cost. That would definitely reduce cost. Right. Okay. And you don't think those two hundred delegates are supposed to vote? Um. It wouldn't be necessary because you know. No, the, but I mean, I mean, the national congress. You, you, you is, I've said we we talked about this earlier. 
uh, opposition parties are governing within. I agree. Your practice mm -hmm. is the mirror mm -hmm. of what type of government mm -hmm. do you envisage yes. to deliver to us. Yes. So if you actually has to take this food truck now, mm -hmm. one will wonder how mm -hmm. democratic would mm -hmm. a UDP government be in office? Well, you can ask the same question of the ANC. The ANC has been there for the last... Uh, 27, 28 years since uh, Mandela became president. But is, is the it South Chama Chama Africans who are voting for them? Yes, yes. yes. But this, this, I'm, trying, I'm trying to explain. Chama Chama yeah. in Tanzania. In Tanzania, the <laughs> uh, yeah. Youth Party, the People's Action Party. Um, what I'm trying to say, I, I see you are not yeah, uh, just, getting it. No, no, I'm getting it, but you are trying to mix apple and oranges here. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not no, doing a any government, such thing. A government, well, I, I, I think a go the Chama Chama in, in Tanzania, the, the only difference is that, um, yes, they've been, the party has been in power for 50 years. These are parties years, who are in power. Yes. Yeah, this I'm saying. Yeah. These are yes. parties. Yes. This are and, and the way they change is by consensus. They have a kind of a formula. No, I don't know the. No, we are moving away from yeah. consensus. What we are saying now, the mere fact that you have now come with a resolution mm. instead of every two years to elect your executive body and now making it four years. Yes. That's 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 the issue right now. That's what I'm, I, I want yes. to understand. Um, I, I tried to explain yes. earlier, and I don't know if you are yeah, listening are, to yeah, me. Yeah, to because, you, you know, cost. sometimes when you are having a conversation, yeah. <laughs> you but, are bringing but, it to cause. I don't think that is justified enough. A political party. Well, this this is uh, this is your opinion, and you are entitled to it. Uh, thank God you are not a member of the UDP. <laughs> <laughs> so, so really, it's, 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 it's up to Congress of you <laughs> to decide, to decide right. what is going to help it uh, function effectively right. so, so this the future. Uh, where your resolutions put to vote absolutely but you choose resolution to be put to vote but when you come into you know having people to take offices you don't put that to vote why we not do we do we we put it to vote but when you have an unopposed candidate the voting becomes well, uh, there moved. are instances when there were no opposed uh, there were there are opposed candidates 99% uh, uh, of of our candidates all of them were unopposed 99% okay very few Okay, I can I can rec I can recall them. Mm -hmm. um, one uh, at least comes to my mind right yes. now, and that's the uh, election or the selection of the um, camp campaign manager position. Yes. Yes. that's one was contested. Yes, and uh, the deputy also. And the deputy. Yes. So that that would, they were um, that those were contested uh, yes. positions. But so now, mm -hmm. city. Yeah, yeah uh, finally on a time limit. You know, mm -hmm. this is something that uh, in Africa, you know, we look around and we want to see something different. I believe in time limits. And, but I don't think your party believes in time limits. My, my party does. No. At that Congress, it was discussed. I don't know whether no, you wait, are wait, wait, to wait, that. Wait, wait, no, time limit not only as a head of state or a president, even in, in, in positions of po political... But that's what I'm saying. That's, yes. I'm, I'm saying the, this is <laughs> what was discussed there. Okay. Uh, don't be surprised at the next Congress in 2024, uh, that uh, the, the issue of time limit is the subject of a resolution. Mm -hmm. Because we have been making resolutions to renew and reinvigorate our party since 2018. Mm -hmm. We came up with 30% of our elective exec positions, all of UDP, must be women. We came up with that in 2018. Mm -hmm. We came up uh, with a resolution on uh, health insurance in 2018. These uh, records are there. Mm -hmm. So if you want to analyze, understand UDP, or even criticize it, uh, albeit uh, constructively, you will find out that every time we go to Congress, issues come up, and we go through our own processes based on our constitution mm -hmm. as to how you introduce resolutions. Uh, time limit was discussed at the last Congress in Janjambure, mm -hmm. and we are going to go ahead with it. So you, because you, you, you don't see the urgency for time limit to take a paramount position as far as UDP as a political party. We are different. Because you keep saying UDP a political party, we are different. But that different is not seen. Well, this is an opinion again. Uh, and please, my brother, don't think that your opinion about No, this is not this is an opinion. I thought, I thought mm -hmm. when you guys when went you to ask me, uh, no, yeah, no, go ahead. Go no, ahead. When you ask me just now, I told you I believe in time limits. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And at the Congress, it was discussed. Mm -hmm. So now, if you are part of an organization, unless you have an inflated sense of your own importance, you don't impose your ideas or your views on yeah. the organization. Yeah. Okay. You, all I, you can do is participate in the processes. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, for, so for, I, us, for me, uh -huh. for me, um, I will respect um, the decision of of UDP uh, through its Congress. Um, what what you've uh, what, what what you've done there. Yes. My job yes. is to hold you accountable. Absolutely. And that's what I'm Absolutely. Going, I, I want to be do. Mm. I want to do. Mm. Now um, we talked about the the importance of discussing ideas, the importance of believing that this is the only country we have, we will either have to make it or break it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. that was a proposal mm -hmm. some time ago mm -hmm. that um, between father and son, fondly called mm -hmm. between President Barrow and um, Honorable Hussein Udabo, mm -hmm. um, uh, and the, part, the two parties mm -hmm. to reconcile. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say reconciliation, mm -hmm. it's broad. Mm -hmm. What's your view? I think uh, it's always uh, the decision of the principals in these uh, endeavors. Mm -hmm. But as a party, we have said this from the day we were born. Mm -hmm. We are a united front for democracy. <laughs> <coughs> this is what we want, national unity, mm -hmm. and the, uh, the togetherness of the best ideas around the same table, mm -hmm. moving the ship of state in the right direction. So personally, I have said this not only here, but on many interviews, that the National uh, Development Project is vital that we speak uh, on one, with one voice. Mm -hmm. We try to be as inclusive as possible. Obviously, decisions like this have to be made by the executives and the party whether it is in Congress or at the Central Committee level of the I was, party. I was expecting this issue to be discussed at the Congress. Because I think it, it has that national importance. It does, that, it uh, does. But, but uh, from a statement of intent, mm -hmm. I think is, is, is open. Uh, you saw during the uh, presidential election, mm -hmm. the former vice president of the Gambia, Bakari Davos right. party, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Honorable uh, 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 Marisok also, uh, came and, and joined, joined the effort that we are doing. Mm -hmm. So after the competition, obviously, um, you have so, so notes here and there. But uh, the point you made is the most important point. Everybody is saying that, oh, we should put all hands on deck. Uh, we should uh, go back to the drawing board. Uh, we should reconcile as a, as a nation, as one people. But you've talked about two individuals. Yeah. But here... Obviously, uh, President Barrow has the upper hand mm -hmm. in initiating any effort uh, uh, like that. Mm -hmm. He is the president of the, ho the whole of the Gambia. Uh, recently, we saw them together at this uh, Ulema, Ulema conference. Ulema conference, yeah. Yes. So, so uh, uh, things like that uh, may be uh, uh, beginnings. But uh, obviously, you cannot sit on national television or on national radio yeah. and talk about yeah, uh, the, the, the internal, okay. the internal yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, strategies. And I don't, and I don't see, I don't wish, even wish for that to happen because that is going to make my job kind of meaningless. And that is having UDP and MPP coming together as one party. No, I don't want that. I want us to, for us to have as much, as many parties as we can. That way, I'll have a job. I'll be able to go to the different parties and interview each of you like I'm doing with you right now. Well, but thank you. I want our leaders to understand that a country can only be built through the discussion of ideas. When we put personal issues aside, we can build a country. We can have personal issues. You know, we, that's our, in our nature. But when it comes to building of the country, we have to put those aside and see the country first. Thank That's you. My, my point. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Dabo. Uh, Mr. Tal, we'll just uh, shift our gears to the local government election. As you are aware, it's just around the corner. Uh, when it comes to politics, when they say it's around the corner, that means it's already here. <laughs> 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 How do you hope to maximi uh, maximize your, your gain, your performance? Uh, because quite a lot of people thought, if you really want to describe UDP, some would say it's a party of fanfare but not a party that can make election gains. Um, see, the, always, you know, when, when you talk, it's, it's very fascinating because <laughs> if you express your opinion... It's not my opinion, no, sir. But, no, no, no. How would you say this? These are questions. We talk to lots of people. Uh -huh. You know, when they go out, they no, go I, out... I believe you. I no, believe no, no, you. No, 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 let me say this. To, to when say they go that out, UDP is a party of fanfare in the context of local government? No, 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 no. I no, think no, that, no, is, that is a, that's no, a stretch. No, no, don't link the two. What I'm saying is, 
when UDP goes out, this one so, you, so this man, one, you, you must you must judge this case. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, he asked about <laughs> local government, no. and he said, "I cannot link how them." Can, no, how can you optimize your gain, yes. your performance? Yes, but critics are saying when it comes to UDP, when they go out, I guess it's full of funfair. It's full of fanfare. It's full of all the ambience. I, but I these think things what are not being transformed. Is is is, is 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 trying to arrive at is election results so far achieved by the party. And what, is, what the what party is, about. Is, is going to <laughs> no, do to, no, for, no, the, no, for the no, local... No. But I, I, I just want to say this. I think UDP, I, I don't know what the result is going to be, but I think you have done a pretty good job when it comes to a selection of your candidates. As, as, as far as I understand, you are already done with selection of candidates, right? That is correct. That so is correct. you are already on the campaign trail, kind of. Yes, we are. So yeah. I, I think they are ahead of they are ahead of him to, to are, ahead of NPP. I don't know if they are watching their back. Well, well but we we are not we are not playing uh, uh, a head game. Uh, we are not in that business. Again, we are very. Mr. Tal, this is politics. You know? No, no, no. I, I understand. I yeah, understand. But I want him to come to that because yeah. I think I think you actually understand what I'm driving at. No, I, I I really don't understand what you are driving at, and I take all your questions in absolute good faith. What I'm saying, mm -hmm. what I said earlier is, mm -hmm. we are seeing you know the local government is just around the corner. We want we want to know how you're going to optimize you know your performance, but critics will say when it comes to election. Mm -hmm. UDP becomes a party of a fanfare. You know, they bring lot of people, lots of noise. But when it comes to the results, we don't see that. Are we going to see something different come uh, May 2023 in this local government election? Basically, that's what I want to know. This, this is a very complex question. Yeah. But I'll try to answer it. It's simply. loaded. Yeah. Now, when, it, when you talk about election results, we went to court. Mm -hmm. But that uh, election result to ask the court to look at it mm -hmm. again. Recently, we had a Senegalese member of parliament mm -hmm. stand and say certain things mm -hmm. about our voter registration right. and our national documents. Mm -hmm. so, so this is one thing. Mm -hmm. Local government in the Gambia is in the control of UDP. As we speak. As we speak. UDP, Everyone knows this. UDP led battle. Because when you were going to that election, you see. In, no, no, no. Now no. he is slicing and dicing. <laughs> no, no, no. Let him finish. No, no, let him finish. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, but let's make this very no, no, please, clear. Please, please. Okay, go you ahead. Know, this, this is what I'm trying to say. Let, let, let him finish. Siri would try and impose his opinion on the question. Yeah. Let, let him finish. Let him finish. This is not an opinion, Mr. Charles. What I'm saying, in 2017, we knew very well. In 2018. In, in, yeah, yeah, I mean, 2017, 2018, that mm -hmm. is a local government election and the parliamentary election. Mm -hmm. Barrow was with UDP and he did extremely to support UDP package. Before it's, 2016, who was Barrow with? Let's go. No, this, is, this is the kind of uh, talk that I think is not helpful to mm -hmm. anybody. Uh, uh, President Barrow was the deputy national treasurer of UDP. Of UDP Everyone yeah. knows this. Right. So, please, when we are talking about these things, let us not try and get our opinion into the question. The question is that local government in the Gambia was transformed from 2018 to date. Mm -hmm. Everybody can see that. Now, what are our strategies? Obviously, uh, we will be doing our campaigns, but local government is different from presidential elections. As it is different from parliamentary elections. Absolutely. Yeah. You have councillors, you have uh, mayors and chairmen. And their work speaks for themselves. Mm -hmm. So this is not a question of uh, 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 thumping your chest. People see it. But I think the, the, the question then is, uh, Mr. Tal, uh, yes, local government elections, people see because you're working directly with the average person yes. there. They will see what you can and what you cannot do. But I guess the question that CDA was trying to ask is when it comes to the last parliamentary elections, before it, UDP was having the majority in the National Assembly. Yes. After the elections, that majority dropped down. Yes. So now that we are going into the local government elections, mm -hmm. do you, if you're mm -hmm. going to carry that same momentum with you from the National Assembly elections, then one would expect that your, the number of uh, seats you have in the local government councils will drop. That is why the question then becomes, what are the strategies that you are going to employ to make sure that you control so far yeah. all the seats that you have in the local government elections and then increase? Suleiman, uh, in fairness, mm -hmm. the 
parliamentary elections mm -hmm. happened soon after the presidential, presidential. election. Yeah. There was, uh, to be honest with you, there are a lot of people who were very demoralized mm -hmm. as, to, as to the outcome of the presidential election. And that is normally the case even in the West. No, yeah. no I mean, uh, 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 let me make my point, <laughs> okay. please. Yes, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, yeah, Mr. Yes, Tal, I like to take my time yeah, yeah. to make the yeah, point yes, because yes, I yeah. think it's important Correct. to make the point. Absolutely. So, so to, uh, that aside, mm -hmm. if you count the votes by numbers, mm -hmm. UDP has at least 2,000 votes more than uh, the uh, majority that uh, NPP has. 2,000 votes? Yes, mm -hmm. more. If you count all the votes okay. that we are cast in the uh, Par parliamentary, parliamentary election. elections. Mm -hmm. What is responsible for that is that West Coast region has been gerrymandered during the JAMA time. Mm -hmm. So this is where the pass is useful. All the five uh, constituencies in Fony are smaller than uh, Brikama North or Brikama South or Combo East, mm -hmm. uh, like that. Yeah. So that gerrymandering effect is, is there. Mm -hmm. So the base of the UDP, the voters of the UDP that have voted in the presidential election and in the parliamentary election mm -hmm. are going to be the same voters who are going to go and vote in the uh, local government elections. Correct. In Banjul, mm -hmm. where we had the mayor, we did not have the majority or the plurality of votes, mm -hmm. but the UDP ba base alone was able to give the advantage to Mayor, Mayor Rohi Malik Lo. Right. The, the records are there. Mm -hmm. Now, in the five years that she has been the leader of Banjul, mm -hmm. Banjul has been transformed again into a political force. Mm -hmm. uh, not only uh, the infrastructural uh, or road development, but the activities that are empowering children and women mm -hmm. that uh, Rohi Malik Lo has been pushing all these uh, years. She has gotten global acknowledgement and recognition for her leadership yeah. in Africa and around the world. Mm -hmm. You come to KMC, everywhere you go, uh, people even say, oh, for me, I am, I am vo voting for Talib. I'm not even voting for UDP. I, am, I, I hope mm. <coughs> that UDP will not be complacent in believing that with all these good records that no, you are talking no, about, no, no. because what I, what I want to tell you Suleiman, is that you are going to run, face, running out of time. We, you are going to, to face the same, the same no, uh, gerrymandering no, 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 issue no. that you are, to, you I, are talking about. I don't about. know that you are a fortune teller, Suleiman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Mr. Tal, yeah. earlier on you talked about the Senegalese uh, parliamentarian or whoever uh, talked about our voter's card or our documents in foreign hands. But um, what moral standing do our present political parties have? Not the recent one that have been registered in the last year or so. Because we were all here and we knew that the game or the playbook, you call it a jammy heart when it comes to voter registration, even far back to Sadauda. Because we, 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 we had people, I can call names of ministers in the days of Sadauda who will say, I'll get even, you know, people from Guinea-Bissau and Guinea-Conakry to come and vote, and Algerian voters cut. Those are on records where ministers of Saudi Arabia make those statements. And we have seen, when it comes to Jame, similar thing were happening. We, are not, we know that our voters cut, we have been given to non-Gambians. When we were here in 2017 down to 2019, there was a need for an electoral reform. The inter-party had a series of meetings, and that is to qualify whether this attestation that Al Carlos and five elders are supposed to have, you were all sitting on that table, and you allow it to go. So do any of these political parties have a moral standing to question who has our paper when we actually gave them the license to do it? Um, Siri, what I want to say is that um, this is not a morality game. Mm -hmm. A country is a geographic political expression. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are laws and there are lawmakers and there are leaders uh, across the board over time. It's wrong for non-Gambians to have Gambian citizens. Yeah. It doesn't matter who, who says it exactly. or who discuss it. Uh, this is as simple as that. So for, for a, a very uh, highly regarded Gambian to sit here and talk about uh, the morality of politicians, really, I think is, is just a waste of time. This and is about how this country is being run. We could have stopped it 
but we allow it to go. Uh, now, 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 who who could have stopped it? The inter-party was here. No, the inter-party does nothing. The inter-party is a weak, weak uh, 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 institution. Then scrap the it IEC, off. No, 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 no. The IEC that was established by law. Mm -hmm must take its responsibility and ensure that non-Gambians are not registered. But in the, the Inter-Party Committee yes. is, this is a stakeholder. Is, this is for me. It's a stakeholder uh, as far as the IEC is concerned, as far as our oh, governance is no, concerned, please, Mr. Please, Tal. I, 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 I will agree. We are running out of town. I will give you the last word. But actually, the Inter-Party is a stakeholder as far as governance is concerned, as far as IEC is concerned. Well, well you are telling me that I'm part of the Inter-Party. I'm telling you that for all practical purposes, mm -hmm. uh, all of us on the Inter-Party, nobody is on a salary. Taxpayers' money is paying the IEC yeah. <laughs> to conduct credible election, to, uh, the, to conduct proper registration. Correct. What are they doing? Yeah. And you are not ta asking them, you are talking about the... I think, I think, I, I, I think that, that is, is up, time is up, uh, Mr. Tal. Uh, I think that is, that is, that is where we, uh, both, both of, of us, us uh, I will allow Mr. as journalists and politicians, uh, should continue to hold any public yeah, ta official Suleiman, ta Time is up. Mr. Tal, yes. it won't be fair for me not to give you the final word. <laughs> you have well, final uh, word. I'm very happy that 2023 is here. Local governments are coming. We hope that Gambians reflect on the legacy of Solo Sunday, who we will lay to rest properly tomorrow mm -hmm. and uh, we hope that uh, Gambians would find it in their hearts mm -hmm. to come together and uh, mobilize an alliance for progress so that this country moves uh, to the next thank you, level. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Tal. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Dabo. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, viewers. And this program will be repeated on Sunday at uh, 10 a.m. Bye for now.